do you remember about a year ago seeing these headlines around all the time uh, about microplastics in our teas? Uh, when this story came out and this research was complete, I found it so overwhelming. I didn't know how to know if there were plastics in my tea, what to do about it, what I would need to change. Um, and, you know, recently I saw this demonstration and it was so helpful to me uh, to figure out what I was putting into my teacup. So we're going to show you uh, how to tell if there are plastics in your tea bags today. So why don't we start, Aubrey, with the uh, round tea bag? So... Aubrey's going to be our official rip checker. So as we know, uh, paper rips. That's the sound we're looking for. Uh, so do you want to give that a try, Aubrey, and see if you can get that to rip? Yeah. Rips like paper. Rips like paper. Tea bag. So this is our next tea bag. We're sort of like middle of the road, uh, slightly more premium blends, uh, but easily available tea bag. So why don't, do you want to give that one a rip test and see how it goes? Does it rip like paper, stretch like plastic? No stretch. No stretch. No rip. No stretch, no rip. Let's see. Oh, I was able to rip that one pretty easily. I'm thinking that one sounded like paper to me. This All right. Rips. That rips. Perfect. And then we have our last tea bag. So this... This is very soft and smooth. Uh, let's see how that one goes. No stretch. No rip. No rip? I'm gonna give it a try. Oh, yeah, I agree. There is no rip. And actually, if you look really closely here, you can see that uh, even where the string is attached, I mean, it's translucent and it looks melted. All right, and then we have these two bags. So we'll start with this one. Uh, this is the bag that we have available uh, in the Valley Alchemist web store. Should we give it a rip and see how that goes? Oh, that's good tear. <laughs> that's a good tear. So this paper bag rips. So All right. it's definitely paper. Yeah, I was having a hard time getting my paper bags from my usual supplier. Um, and so I picked up these uh, cotton bags. Do you wanna see if you can get that to rip, buddy? I'm going to try here first. Okay. That does not rip from there. I'm not able to rip. Oh, there we go. We got a little rip there, sort of fluffy. All right. Well, why don't we try the next part of our experiment? So why don't we start back at the beginning with our first bag? So we've really felt this one ripped like paper, didn't it? Yes. You know what? I'm actually going to take it. I don't think it's a good idea for you to hold the burning bag. So we're going to get a burn going here. What do you think? Back up for this. Oh, good idea, buddy. Whoa! Oh, look at that surprised face. I think that burned like paper. What do you think? Uh-huh. Burns like paper. So I'm gonna say point to the grocery store brands. This bag that you can get all your sort of basic black orange pico teas in. This is absolutely a paper bag. All right, next. Oh, great. Perfect. That's the next bag we should do. So this one we also found um, ripped like paper. So let's give this one the burn test and see how we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Burns like paper. So I'm going to say that's another point uh, that we can safely drink our tea from these two tea bags. These are absolutely paper tea bags. Oh, Aubrey, these tea bags have all of my favorite teas. <laughs> all the teas I love, if you buy them pre bagged, come in this style of silk, um, biodegradable uh, tea bag. It feels like plastic to me. Uh, we were not able to rip it. <laughs> oh, do you see that? That's melting. This bag is absolutely plastic. So we have this bag here. So this abs did this one rip like paper? Like very good. Can I show them again? Yeah, show us again. Oh, listen to that. All right. <laughs> oh, what do you think, Aubrey? Burning like paper, melting like paper. 
I agree. All right, so we have another another paper tea bag. So I'm feeling good about these reusable bags that we sell in our store. That's a huge relief to me because like these bags, the other bags I use the most often are these. Um, quite often I do use a reusable tea strainer. These are excellent uh, for loose leaf tea drinkers. You can see in there how well used this is. Um, this is my go-to, but when I'm feeling a little lazy and I just don't want to clean this out, this is my go-to. All right, and our last bag, buddy. Let's see how this one goes. So here we have uh, what claims to be a cotton bag. We uh, really gave this one a beating during our rip test. Um, it's sort of ripped. It's sort of stretched. It was very unusual. And now we'll give it a burn test. Ooh, yikes. This is, you know, I'm going to say this is not, ooh, this is not uh, burning. And in fact, I just touched it to put it out. And can you see all these strings stuck to my thumb? I don't know. This has got to be some kind of woven plastic fiber. Uh, it was sold to me as a cotton bag, but the way that it gummed and stretched and uh, melted when it was burning, uh, this is exactly the kind of thing we're, we're looking for. Uh, when we're trying to determine what bags to uh, kick out of our cupboards. So I think the full verdict is in. Um, these guys are our plastic bags. Uh, they're plastic weaves, and I won't be using them anymore. Uh, something like this, you know, maybe I would uh, rip open the bag if I can't just buy the loose leaf tea and maybe pour some, like the contents of this into my reusable strainer. Uh, to avoid the plastics in my cup. And uh, I'll feel really good uh, using these paper bags, um, which you can buy pre-filled at the grocery store like this, or which you can buy empty and fill with your loose leaf favorites. So thanks for joining us. I hope you found this as helpful as I did uh, when I learned how to take the test. Take care. See you soon.